video, we learned how to use projection to save ourselves a little time to build these cross pieces. Uh, in this video, we're going to prepare our final design for laser for the laser cutter and create a one solid DXF file that has everything we need um, to print. So as you notice, I've got uh, eight different bodies here, two sides and six cross pieces. And I, what I want to do is put them all into one file and lay them all flat on the, on the, on the ground. So I'm going to go ahead and save myself the grief of moving things around back and forth. I'm going to copy all of these uh, bodies and make myself a double of them. So I can actually just so click on the first body, hold shift, click on the last body, um, and on a Mac go uh, Command C, Command V, or Control C, Control V on a PC. And then to just drag the arrow to pull this off to the side, pull my copy off to the side, and say OK. And then I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just hide the first uh, options there. I'm also going to go ahead and hide those sketches. So if I ever need to edit something, um, I can go back and keep my original, which is sort of hidden back here now. I don't, I've got no danger of damaging that. Okay. And now what I want to do is put all these uh, six or eight items flat on the ground, flat on the, the plane on the, on the on the ground on a flat surface here, so that I can make one file from them. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just um, grab these and I'm going to say modify um, align and I'm going to align this body um, with the, this surface of this body with the surface of the chair because I know that um, well, it doesn't really matter but I guess in, in this case I'm going to have everything in the same spot. So once you've got it um, moved, I can say OK. And that's still a separate body, so I can grab it and I can use the Move option to just move it around um, wherever I... Oh, not the face. Um, move bodies. Grab that and then I can just move it out of the way. Okay, so that's the first one. So we're going to do that the same. We're going to do that for all of these pieces, and then we're going to end up with having all these pieces flat on the one, on the one plane. So let's do that again. Modify line. I know that these three are in are flat because of my design, but this one is not. It's definitely not. So let's find that one. So okay. Modify line. That one. Also same. Oops. Same spot. We got to remember they're sitting on top, sort of. On top of each other at the moment. Uh, modify line, this one and this one. It's okay. And I'm just going to grab those. Modify move. I'm going to grab that and move. Oops, I didn't mean to select two. Move. Bodies is selected. I can grab that top and move it over here. So, okay. Move tool again. Just gonna move some things around a little bit so I can see a little bit better. So I'm not confused about where things are. And I need to modify, align this last um, chair piece, the side piece, with the um, with the slots as well. Just be careful that you don't inadvertently turn things upside down or upside right. Um, you know, if, if, for instance, I had some writing or something on this side and I turned it upside down, the laser cutter wouldn't be able to cut the bottom. And so um, it's only going to etch on the top. So just be careful about that. And align that. Great. So everything is now flat. I just need to move this uh, chair side sort of over and out of the way. Right. So now everything's flat, everything's looking okay. And I'm going to go ahead and rotate some of these pieces around so that I can save space. Now this step is, is pretty important because we don't want to put, um, we don't want to waste material. That's the main thing. So I'm going to go ahead and just align these. Everything should still be flat. Let's move this one. 
and I can actually nest those legs like that. Oops, nest those legs. Like just there, I grabbed the wrong thing, so let's undo. And then go move. Uh, just be careful. You grab use use the arrows. Don't use um, don't use the center dot because way inadvertently you can be moving it based on um, three different axes at the same time, and that really could be end up being really confusing. All right, so um, this is this is looking pretty good. I can still also I can I can move I can nest these ones. And all I'm doing here is just saving space. And let's move this one up. And beyond this, um, beyond this, when you go to laser cut, you might have to do a little bit of do a little bit of adjusting anyway. Oops. Didn't get that. Mm -hmm. and I'm always using the arrows just so we're not confusing ourselves. That's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. I can maybe shift, we'll shift this one in a little bit. Great. Uh, now I'm, I'm almost done. I'm pretty much ready for um, sending this to the laser cutter. And I've left a little bit of gap, so if something needs to be moved around when it's getting ready to cut, we can still do that pretty easily. Um, the last step we're going to do is we're going to um, choose one face here, and we're going to create a new sketch. And that new sketch, we're going to, on that new sketch, we're going to project all these bodies. So we're going to do what we did before. We're going to go uh, under and say project. And it's going to ask us what things do we want to project onto the sketch. And I want to project bodies. I want to project this one, this one, this one. I'm holding shift and clicking all these different um, items to be on that um, to be on that sketch as well. Okay, so sketch seven. Just doing a double check. If I turn off all these bodies, did I capture the first one or not? I believe. Oh, and I did not. So let's go. Let's just um, project that one on there as well. Project. This one as well. And now, if I turn that body off, I should have sketch seven has all those different pieces all on one um, sketch. And if I say finish, I can still see my other sketches are way back in the other view. They're over here, but I haven't damaged those. My sketch seven has everything I need. All I need to do now is go right click on sketch 7 in this case, and say save as DXF, and give it a good name, ready for laser cutter chair, your name, like that. Save that as a DXF, and then um, send it to laser cutter. Good job, you're done.